If you do not understand this one concept, you will not be able to do anything, anything of value in your life, or you will not be able to stick with it. Hey bosses, a few weeks ago, I was in a conversation with a group of my breakthrough bosses. These are the people that are in my breakthrough boss course. And we were talking about the number one book that I would recommend, I was, I was talking about a concept from this book that had radically changed my ability to make change, to be able to grow, to stick through with things, to make progress on my goals. And as I was talking to them, I realized that this book really was my breakthrough book. If I had to pinpoint one book that literally made the biggest impact in my life, it would be this book. And so as I was talking to them, I was like, you know, if I could only give you one mindset book, this would be that book. After I talked to them, I was like, you know, I should read it again because it's been a long time. I read it about seven years ago. A lot's changed since then. Maybe I would just find it complete nonsense now, right? Sometimes when you go back and you read something, you're like, okay, that wasn't that big of a deal. As I went back and read this though, I realized this book is still a really big deal. And it's really renewed some things in me that needed some renewal. And not only have I reread this book, but my husband is now reading this book. Now you need to understand something. In order for my husband to read a book, it can't just be good because the man goes to sleep as soon as he sits down or goes vertical. So for him to be able to read this book, it has to really capture something in him. He has never been able to read a personal development book simply because it just doesn't keep his attention. He'll listen to podcasts, he'll watch videos, but reading will put him to sleep. That's just his learning style. So the fact that he has read this book and the fact that it is making as big of an impact on him as it's made on me is a testament to this book. I'm not going to spoil it just yet. Hold on. Stick with me. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. I want you to really understand the value of this book and be able to look past some things that you're going to see negative reviews on. One of the things that I see a lot is like, oh, it's super repetitive. Yes, every pretty much every book is going to be repetitive because they need to repeat things from multiple angles in order for things to really click into place in your brain. They're going to teach it and reteach it to make sure it really makes sense. Not only that, this book is not the best written book in the world. It was not written by an amazing author, by an amazing researcher. So if you're used to these really good books, like books by Danielle Pink or Brene Brown, those types of books, this is not that. This book though is going to teach you one concept that if you do not understand this one concept, you will not be able to do anything, anything of value in your life, or you will not be able to stick with it. So if you've ever had that experience, and he talks about in the first chapter, that experience where you're doing really, really good, and then things start to kind of fall apart, and then you start doing really, really good again, and things start to fall apart again. If that's you, you need to read this book. Or if you're just in that place of like, I can't make progress, I can't stick to things, I can't be able to figure out what I actually need to do, you know, nothing's ever really changing, how do I make these changes? You need to read this book. Like I said, it changed everything for me. I went from really struggling with personal development, struggling with self-discipline, big time, struggling with routines and habits, the success habits that I knew would make me healthy or happy or financially abundant. All of the things I was struggling with, this book addresses. So if I could only give you one book, one book that you were to read this year every year or at least every like seven years like I did, please, please, please let it be The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. Now again, this is not like the most amazing author and the most amazing book ever, but the concept he teaches in this will radically change the way you view yourself, every single one of your goals, whether that's a health goal, a relationship goal, a professional goal, it doesn't matter. What he teaches will change the way you approach those things, which will radically change the way you're able to create what you want from those things. So I've really gone back and forth about how much of this book to tell you about because I don't want to ruin the concept. So here's the deal. If you know you need radical change, but you think that watching the rest of this video is going to make you less likely to read this book, then go ahead and stop this video go get the book, read it, come back and let me know. You can watch the rest of it. Let me know how far off I was. Let me know your experience of it. But especially 
use this book, use the strategy or the concept that it teaches in this book for a while, like a good year or two. I'm really starting to see the momentum of what this book taught me. And I probably started seeing that after like three, four, five years. Now I'm seven years into understanding this concept and it's really starting to gain momentum. So it will take time, trust me on that one, but Again, read the book. Even if you watch the rest of this video, make sure you read the book because the way he teaches it and the way he explains it and demonstrates it to you is going to be the thing that locks it into place. Yes, it is a little repetitive, but it's repetitive for a very good reason. So the whole concept of this book can be described in two sentences, simple, productive actions repeated consistently over time simple errors and judgment repeated consistently over time. The whole thing that he teaches here is the concept of the slight edge. The slight edge being the little tiny things that you don't see immediate results from are the things that get you the results that you want. And if you can do what he calls mastering the mundane and really be able to get yourself to commit to simple daily habits, things that are easy to do, things that are easy not to do, the more you are doing the right things, the more your life, your business, your health, your relationships will go on this steady incline. And the more you are consistently repeating those simple, tiny, tiny little errors and judgment, the more your life will slowly start to go on a decline. And the thing that really got through to me here was this concept of compounding interest. We understand compounding interest when it comes to investing, right? We put our money in our investments, and we don't touch it. And we realize that at first, it looks like it's just barely growing. It's slow, it's slow, it's slow, until suddenly it just starts to increase and increase and increase. And now all of a sudden, we're seeing the real results of compounding interest. This is what he teaches with the slight edge. He's teaching that those little tiny investments in your health, those little tiny things you're doing for your relationship, those little tiny things that you do every day, every week in your business, are going to be the things that compound over time. In the beginning, it'll look like nothing much is happening until all of a sudden it starts to spike. And the more that you continue with those habits as it's spiking, the more you'll continue on an upward trajectory versus the up and down, up and down, and up and down. This book, y'all, please, please get your hands on this book. If you're not gonna work with me as a coach, if you are not going to, I don't know, maybe you're gonna read a million other books this year, but you're probably not gonna implement them because you don't have this book, you've gotta have this book. Once you have this one, once you understand this concept inside and out, how it applies to every area of your life, how to get started on just simple little things, then every other book starts to make sense. Every other thing you're trying to do clicks into place. Not overnight, it is not a quick fix, but it will click into place and you'll begin to see real progress. You'll begin to trust the process. You'll begin to trust the things that you're doing are actually leading to the outcomes that you're wanting. Because I will tell you what, the thing that will make or break whether or not somebody is successful is their staying power, how patient they are, and whether or not they'll be the ones to stick something out. Businesses right now that don't have staying power aren't going to survive everything that we've been going through, right? Relationships right now that aren't willing to put in the hard work and figure out what it is that's challenging them will not see where they could get to in five or 10 years. In fact, putting the slight edge into practice in our marriage is what's allowed us to get to a place where our marriage is as good as it is. And y'all, it is really, really good. And it's because we do these slight edge practices that enable it to get better and better and better, compounding, doubling, getting better all the time simply because we're sticking with it, because we understand the slight edge concept. So this is a, a probably very rambly attempt at a book review, but I highly recommend that you read The Slight Edge, Jeff Olson. I'll link it down below. Check this one out. 
make sure that it is on your your to read list or it is also a great book to be able to listen to because it's such it's just a simple read so it's something you can really take in easily as you're listening as well let me know if you've read it already drop a comment below let me know your takeaways from it or you know what you loved most about it or how it's impacted you like what areas of your life it's impacted and then if you're going to read it let me know. And then if you do read it, come back and let me know because I would love to hear from you in terms of the impact that it's going to make on you. Hopefully this is helpful. Again, a little rambly, but I had to share this book because since I have reread it, I've been talking to everybody about it again, because if I can only give you one thing, if I can only get one thing through to you, it would be this thing right here. So have fun with this one. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, to all that fun jazz, and I will see you in the next one.